Welcome back to more Dark Souls. We are all the way back here in Undead Burg because there is a bit of unfinished business I would like to take care of before we do anything else. Okay, so first of all, let us take this shortcut and we're gonna stand right here. Say hello to the Hellkite Dragon. So we're gonna stand in this corner. We're gonna wait for this guy to land. Okay, so now that he has landed, we want his tail. There we go, Drake's sword. Give me that. Holy shit, that was way more damage than I had ever anticipated him to do. And I'm dead. Well, at least I'm right there. I got his sword, that's what I care about. More than anything else, honestly. It would probably be better if I got behind him. Do, 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 come on. more. Wait for him to land, and then we just bombard him with stuff. Alternatively, I could shoot him from a blind spot, or possibly from under the area underneath this part of the bridge. it to this bonfire. Oh wait, if you make it to this bonfire, we'll just rest up here. Reset the area. The dragon will fly away. And uh, this lever act opens this thing up. See, I knew that there was a way to open that up. I just forgot how to do it. So anyway, in order to make the dragon come back, I need to quit the game. Blah, blah, blah. Do, 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 do. And we'll go back, we'll reload the save. <laughs> Demon Titanite. So now that we've reloaded the save, we have to approach this bridge a certain way to make the dragon come back and not get killed by it. Hey, there it comes. Hide in the corner.
Yeah, this dragon does an absolutely ridiculous amount of fire damage. That thing is a big hit. That flame breath is a big hitbox. I'm about to get burned again, I think. Now we got him. Okay. So this thing does regenerate health. And I'm a little disappointed that took uh I'm a little disappointed that took so long so long but anyway we're done with undead berg at least for on screen stuff now let's warp back to An An Orlando I want to show off something else. So we're going to go back to the church over there. Uh, where is it? Or the cathedral or whatever it is. It, this should not have anything to do with the black eye orb quivering. I still have not looked into why that that message popped up off screen, but uh, this one here, I want to go on basically onto the ground level of this church, which I think is already active for me. If memory serves me right. By memory, I mean what I've looked up. Well, we'll kill the assassins, of course. Just got them because I can one-shot them. I could one-shot them when I was here the first time, when my halberd was merely plus 10 and not plus 15. Move back. Get out of here. Dead. This painting, I'm not sure if this is the painting I need to go to, I'm not going to lie. Yep, it is. Okay, so this did nothing, but because I have that peculiar doll... This happens. The painted world of Ariamis. Now, this is this area is an unfortunate 
an unfortunate speedrun killer for many speedrunners for one simple reason, which I will explain when we get there. I almost don't want to light this bonfire, but you know what? Maybe I should. Let's reverse hollowing. And by the way, if what I if what I explain ends up happening to me, then this LP's over cuz I'm not replaying the entire game. But it shouldn't happen. So, hello, just kill, really, get out of here. Holy shit, 720, or 360, 360, uh, souls for a single hollowed? Wow, that's a lot. Also, you're, you're an asshole. Let's climb up this thing. And I'm not sure. Whoa, blowtorch dudes. And I've been toxic. This is not nearly as deadly as the toxins from the the Blight Town blow dart blow dart snipers. You, you there. Hey, you there. I gotta, I got to climb up this way. Also nice, I'm getting stun fucked. No. Probably actually have my shield out for these. Hey, there doesn't appear to be there doesn't appear to be a reason for me to even be up here other than to drop down, grab the dried finger. It's a little bit gross. Seriously. Uh, get rid of the homeward bone. There we go. Yeah, 
Ah, you know what? I'm not. I'd rather not deal with that. But I'm gonna have to, I think. Fuck you. damn close to these guys in order to be able to in order to get toxic also yeah there we go get out of here Not sure what that was that just fell. Uh. Oh, get out of the way of this. I believe that is an undead dragon. Presumably using Sludge Wave. So there's that, 5,000 souls. One of these things exist in, exists in the Valley of Drakes, too. I'll probably have to kill it as well. And uh, is this really another one? Alright. Even before I just get completely crushed by whatever this is. Uh. In case you can't tell, we're at the point in the game where where everything I see is completely new. Well, new to me. I will have no idea what to do or what I'm doing. So let's just uh let's just keep the negative comments away, please. Actually not that I care, but you know. If you're what if you're thinking I'm just I just don't know what I'm doing, that's because I don't know what I'm doing. So let's just let's just uh, try to collect some items.
I also clearly don't know. Uh, I have a feeling that a fall from that height will kill me. So let's jump down here instead. Hello, white rat. White undead rat, actually. And, okay, that's not a mimic. I'm probably being too, well, I probably was being too overly cautious of mimics, but I did actually off screen go to the Duke's archives. I have not fought the boss, which is Seat the Scaleless, but uh, I did activate a bonfire down up there. I was going to say down there, but that's actually up. Takes me here. Um, there was a mimic in there. And I think I and I just made a full circle somehow. not fight those on such a such a thin platform red sign soapstone Ah, there's a fog gate down there. Ah, uh, can I drop from this... Can I drop from this height and have it not kill me? Maybe... Oh, that was a gamble. Oh, f really? Why are there 50 of these? 2 equals 50, as far as I'm concerned. Fuck these things, whatever they're supposed to be. Fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. Oh boy. Now here we have here we have a throwback. Say hello to essentially the phalanx from uh ah, who am I kidding? I'm I'm screwed, I think. So in Demon Souls there was a a boss that had a whole bunch of these around it. And once you killed all of these things, you could kill the phalanx. Also, I'm just going back to the... I'm going back to the bonfire. I'm gonna actually use my... my things. My accumulated souls. Also off screen, I I made every single uh, demon soul that I had 
and made use them to craft weapons. So that's why I no longer have Soul of Quilog and such in my inventory. Anyway, let's level up. I guess I'll get 30 fit or er, I guess I will eventually level up vitality till I get 40. I see where that was. And death? Not quite. No, surprisingly no death. Wait, humanity. I wonder if these things have an increased chance of dropping humanity, as opposed to the rats in, uh, in the depths. It, well, I realize RNG could be in my favor, but, uh, it does seem that way. Also, those stupid ass thing, bird things aren't, weren't there anymore. So I'm not sure what the best way of dealing with this is here. My guess is try and lure one at a time and kill them, pick them off one at a time. I'll, oh, wait a minute. Okay, I thought for a minute these things were were really so defensive that I don't, only did 40 damage. No, I think I hit their shield or something. Okay. Either, I, either my attack whiffed or I hit their shield. Depending on how resistant these things are to magic, I imagine one AoE spell slash miracle <coughs> firestorm, <coughs> God's wrath, would kill all these. Okay, I'm not, I don't appreciate my shots getting my or my not my shots, but my. Uh, my stab's getting whiffed.
Large leather shield. Is that all they drop? Spear? No. And after all this, it might not have even been worth killing them. I do like that my attacks can clip them through the wall. Open this bad boy up. I have access to this shortcut now. Dark Spirit King Jeremiah has invaded. Hello, I see you over there with something big. And you are wearing what something that somewhat resembles the old monks. Good. I must say, this this tundra really sucks to be trying to dodge this shit with. Oh, and I killed him. Good. Seven bit. I, by the way, I am definitely noticing a a reduction in the number of points or amount of HP I get per level up. So those guys did, in fact, respawn.
locked by some contraption. Right, we'll climb up this. I, I'm a little stumped by this damn thing. Me hitting it with a halberd doesn't do anything, so... I assume... I, the only thing I'm assuming is there's something at the top of this... Wait, there, I was already there. Okay, I was gonna say there's something at the top of this tower that allows me to remove that, but I've already been there. I know I've already explored this part. How in the hell did I end up back here? Yeah, I'm definitely lost. Maybe I'm supposed to get over there, but I don't know how to get down there. I can't jump over. Can't jump over there.
Uh, you know what? I'm tired of bumble. Oh, wait a minute. Kill these. I just kill these rats. And then once I get out of this building, I think I'm just gonna end the segment. Figure out where in the fuck I'm supposed to go. And then cup and then come back when I figure out what where the hell I'm supposed to go and what the hell I'm supposed to do. But well before I do, I will explain uh I will explain a fatal game game breaking bug. There is a boss called Crossbreed Priscilla. Um I was thinking of calling her Crossbreeder Priscilla. But anyway, uh when you attack her for the first time, she'll be like, "Oh, why did you do that?" And then you're supposed to be able to fight her, but if you one-shot her, she'll effectively repeat the dialogue over and over and over again, and you can't interact with anything. You also can't, um, you can't trigger a cutscene to escape the painted world, the painted world, so if you use the bonfire, you're effectively stuck forever. So yeah, that has led to many a speedrunner death. And also, if this happens on a casual playthrough, like, if this happens on this file, this file is dead. And this is still a problem to this day. Which, like, what the hell? you think something like that would have been patched. But yeah. Alright, so I got nothing else. I will see you guys... Oh, what the hell is going on with my character's foot? Anyway, uh, I will see you guys in a bit.